At Thursday night market in hysterical downtown Grass Valley. Hello everyone and welcome to week two of the 2015 downtown Grass Valley Friday night, Thursday night market. Do you know what day and it is? <laughs> yes, I do know what day it Are is. You sure? Gosh darn it, I was so busy drooling on all the flowers and vegetables, I forgot what day it was. Darn it. I'm downtown, it, so it's got to be Thursday. In any case, I'm Teresa Dietrich, and this is my co host, Mick Collins, and we're here to give you a bird's eye view of all the fun and festivities here at the market tonight. I have to interject. Bird's eye view, we're up there. We're going to oh. be a people's eye view. We're going to show you <laughs> everything that's going on in the market. All right, we uh, can do that. I'll be talking with Steve Baker a little later, a water conservation expert, and we'll also be looking at Hank and the Hardtops on the main stage. Bring your dancing shoes for that break, guys. It's, it's hot. So before we check in with Libby, how was your week, Teresa? My week is fantastic. I've been busy listing and selling houses, and Mick brought his trophy to share with us tonight. Is that awesome or what, folks? Yeah. So, so what are the odds that I would win this award again? <laughs> best credit card processor ever and it's all because I have a, an award shop as a client all season awards down on Main Street thank you Vicki Hansen for that uh, don't believe that folks I just saw him at the joint chamber mixer last night doing all that good good stuff he's just a good guy so yeah and uh, actually we have uh, a couple of uh, businesses right on Mill Street that are signing up with pay it forward and I don't want to give them away yet but check Facebook for an announcement soon and check uh, the, the Thursday Night Market Facebook page, too, and like us, please, so that you're aware of all the things that are going on here at the Thursday Night Market. And right now we'll go over to Libby Bonamalo with the Grass Valley Downtown Association and check in with her. Hi. This week we are so thrilled to have a huge crowd. We, last week we opened our market, and we just had a wonderful crowd. Farmer's Market was really busy. We had some great music. Tonight we have Hank Biggs behind me rocking out. And down on the other stage we have Ken doing some karaoke. Right here at the Clock Tower we have our main sponsor, Network Real Estate. And they are they have a drawing for a $100 gift, a gift certificate to a local restaurant, so come down and sign up. Uh, we have some great booths out here tonight. We have a lot of crafters and uh, great music and a lot of people to talk to. Come down and meet your friends and we would love to have you. Next week, we have the Dave Raskin Band on the main stage, and we have uh, Julia, Juliet Gobert and Homer Wills will be on our stage down on Mill Street, and we're all looking forward to having another great week next week. Thank you all for coming out and joining us. This We just love it. Thank you, Libby. Thank you. We're going to head up to the main stage to check out Am Hank and the Hardtops. <laughs> oh, we're, we're going to take a really short break from the action. Stay with us here on the Thursday Night Market YouTube channel. Don't go away. More action coming. Oops. Nothing beats the high fidelity of vinyl recordings. Clock Tower Records in downtown Grass Valley is your home for everything vinyl. Their large selection of new and used vinyl guarantees you're sure to find every artist. Choose from The Beatles, The Who, Jefferson Starship, rock, folk, country, and jazz. They carry vintage posters, books, and with record companies now producing more new vinyl, you're sure to find the latest hits at Clock Tower Records. It's time to visit the newly remodeled B&C True Value Home and Garden Center. The new B&C has completely changed for your shopping convenience. Their new expanded garden center has everything you need, including expert advice on trees, shrubs, and perennials. Check out their new website and the new spring hours. And thank you for voting B&C the best hardware and building supply in 2012. So start right, start here at B&C True Value Home and Garden Center. We're at SPD Market in Nevada City asking people what they like about SPD. I've been shopping here for about 20 years and the people are very courteous and I especially like the meat counter. It's nice to have a great selection, very helpful. Because it's local, it's small, they have a wonderful selections of things I need and the personnel are very nice. And that's why people love SPD Markets in Nevada City and Grass Valley. 
Anything Green Hydroponics is your source for hydro systems, grow lights, and soils. Anything Green offers a complete range of organic nutrients as well as fungicides, miticides, and predatory bugs. Anything Green Hydroponics has just received this year's soil. Get your totes, pallets, or individual bags. Stay tuned for future workshops. It's all at Anything Green Hydroponics. Hi, I'm Teresa. And I'm Mick. Join us every Thursday at the Thursday Night Market. On the Thursday Night Market YouTube channel. See you there. At Thursday Night Market in Hysterical, downtown Grass Valley. Welcome back, everybody, to the Thursday Night Market. Uh, we're going to be talking to Steve Baker in just a few minutes and getting some very, very important water conservation tips and a drought update. But first, Mick, what are we doing? We're going to go to the main stage with Hank and the Hardtops. Rock out. Hank Biggs and the Hardtops. Hank Biggs and the Hardtops. Hardtops. Yeah. yeah. All right, we're going to do a little tune. It's called Hot Rod Motor. And we're going to get Bobby to start this off. Night Market, thanks to uh, Hank Biggs and the Hard Tops there for the music, and uh, I'm here with Steve Baker um, of Operation Unite, and as everybody knows, we're going to get a little serious here because we're in a, a drought situation here in Northern California, and Steve is the man to talk to 
Um, so, Steve, tell us, um, I've, I've talked to you briefly uh, earlier, and we talked about kind of uh, turning the water off when you brush your teeth and, and the economical toilet flushing. What else can we do, large scale and small scale, to help out? You know, probably the biggest thing you can do is uh, look outside your houses and figure out what water you've been using and then cut it in half at least. That's where we use most of our water, and that's where we can save the most in the most easy fashion so do that first uh, as far as in, inside the house change change the plumbing around a little bit get that low flow stuff going the faucets the taps uh and and um and the toilets you we lose we use about a third of our water in the house in the bathroom so uh, take shorter showers things like that and then you know something that we don't usually think about is our food right. we need to pay attention to our food and that means uh uh, pay attention to the farmers that provide that food to you. It's so important that those farmers pr are provided the water they need to grow the food that we eat every single day. But at the same time, ask of our farmers that they be frugal in its use, in the water, in their use of water, so that uh, we we can continue to have great food as we do right here in Nevada County. Uh, uh, a real testament here today. I walk down there, down the street here on Main Street, and there is some great uh, vegetables and fruits and things that are being sold here. Yeah, still great for food. So, so what are the large-scale things that are going on uh, with the drought, with water conservation, that we should be aware of? Well, as far as conservation goes, our state is, a lot of the state people are talking about the, the solution to, to our, our water deficiencies is to change our behaviors as far as reuse. We need to reuse our water. We need to recycle our water. Uh, we need to use, to some degree, as a diversified uh, uh, water portfolio that we have here in California, desalinization plants, and there are 17 of these uh, projects that are already uh, up and running to some degree. I mean, they're being built, they're being designed, or as in the case of San Diego, they're, I believe they're practically finished. And wow. if we go down to Santa Barbara, they took that one out of mothballs, so it should be operating now, I believe. It seems like a no-brainer, and, and all I know is that it seems, I guess, um the background is it really expensive or really really expensive to operate? Oh yeah, it's it's very energy uh, efficient. Uh, it's very energy dependent, so so it's very expensive as far as that that goes. But in addition to that, there are environmental concerns. I mean, you take right. a you take a bunch of salt water and you get rid of all those salts. Well, what do you do with them? You have we, to send them back to the ocean. Well, where do you put it safely so that the critters remain healthy? Can we send the salt to Jersey, maybe? Yeah, they probably <laughs> already have. They're pretty salty people over there. They they it's have salty. plenty. So. It's all right. Um, <laughs> obviously, we're, we're not. It doesn't look like we're getting rain anytime soon to help fill up the reservoirs and, and the groundwater that we've been going through. So I guess kind of reusing is is the uh, the buzzword now, huh? Yeah, reusing reusing is good, but the, probably the best thing to do is to use less less of the water that we do have right now. Reuse doesn't come easy. There aren't regulations that provide us with a safe way of doing that. So for this year, it's water conservation. That's the the most important thing we want to do. Yeah. All right. Great. Anything you want to tell our, our viewers as you as to something to leave them with? Well, I want you to not get uh, to, to get so excited just enough to realize that that you guys are actually vulnerable to losing your water supply. It's it's the real deal. It's really happening right now, and that vulnerability can simply disappear with your participation in the management of our water resource. It's actually really easy, and and these kinds of community events that we have here, sharing things like this, plus all the fun stuff. Uh, that 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 is the uh, most uh, wonderful part of it because that brings our communities together. So if you look, if if you look at the graphic uh, right now, we see uh, the way <laughs> the way our state used to look back in 2002, and then if you look in June of 2014, we are in an extreme drought right now throughout the majority of this state. That's not a good thing. What's really bad is we're the fourth consecutive year of having this type of behavior. Here's another graphic that shows you that we are one in the epic center of this extreme drought. That means use your water carefully, frugally. Do not water outside unless you absolutely have to. Lower the green area, make it smaller so that uh, you have a thriving part of your lawns, but not the entire thing. We have neighborhood water alliance programs that I, we have outreaches throughout Operation Unite, which help people work together to solve problems, come up with water contingencies in neighborhoods. We also have have a Know Your Water program, helps people on their own properties. Uh, we give them the information they need, teach them how to use it. Uh, this is going on right now in our own county. You simply have to contact Operation Unite. So back to uh, the state of California, we're hoping for El Nino. In fact, I've heard there are signs that El Nino is building in the eastern part of the Pacific Ocean. That means that these colors of red in June of 2014 
will be changing back to green if we're really, really lucky if, well, we, if that uh, water comes our way. We can certainly hope for that. It's pretty scary, um, but I guess kind of the everything comes back to community. Um, so working together, we can get through this. Um, thanks very much, Steve. And um, just to kind of end it on a bright note, somebody get this man a water. <laughs> Me? <laughs> thanks a lot. We're going to take a break right now, and when we come back, more Thursday Night Market, and Teresa will be back with me. At Thursday Night Market in Hysterical, downtown Grass Valley. Greg's Organics is a certified organic farm located on West Main Street, downtown Grass Valley. Taste the love. The love of locally grown CCOF certified organic tomatoes. Greg's Organics specializes in unique, rare, and highly sought-after varieties. Greg's Organics are sold only to the best supermarkets, health food stores, restaurants, and school districts. Greg's Organics, taste the love! Welcome to Plaza Tire and Automotive Service in Grass Valley. At Plaza Tire and Automotive Service, the customer comes first. We only do what's right for the customer, not necessarily what's right for business. A generation family member learned all that I know from my grandpa Fred, my dad, my uncle Mike, my grandma. My entire family's been a huge part of learning about the automotive industry. Grass Valley is our fourth location, and you can also find this in Colfax, Penn Valley, and Nevada City. I am Blake Hauser, and I welcome you to join us for the grand opening at our Grass Valley location. It's time now to join Bear River Junior Bruin Football and Cheer. Dedicated moms and dads just like you are making a difference in kids' lives as they learn the sport of football and cheer. Football builds character and motivates kids to do well in school and in life. Early bird registration ends June 1st. Regular registration ends July 24th. Then on July 27th, get ready to strap on your helmet for another fun season of football. Join your friends and neighbors today and support Bear River Junior Bruin football and cheer. Trying to turn it, he's gonna go in, he cuts the corner. Touchdown, Bruins! Wow. Hi, I'm Teresa. And I'm Mick. Join us every Thursday at the Thursday Night Market. On the Thursday Night Market YouTube channel. See you there. At Thursday Night Market in Hysterical, downtown Grass Valley. Welcome back to Thursday Night Market. And I'm alone right now because Teresa is up the street. We're going to introduce a brand new segment to our show called Meet Our Thursday Night Market Neighbors. I understand that we're having uh, a little bit of challenge with the technical portion of this segment. So we're going to stick it right here. We're going, to, we're going to stay right here for a second while she gets ready. She's down the street. We have some wonderful neighbors here at Thursday Night Market. Yeah. And, and you're about to meet them. So I'm down here on the street. And I'm and being told right now have, that DC Solar. We're almost there. Solar. We're working on some audio. Hi, I'm Jamie. Jamie, Jamie's here setting the world on fire with solar power. They've got special deals here tonight. Come on down and check it out. Meet Jamie. She's awesome. We love her. And going down the street here a little bit. Ah, uh, going down the street here a little bit. We have um, the Zeal. Zeal uh, is a uh, wonderful metabolic improvement. Get the zeal for life here at Zeal. Say hello to our audience. How you doing? Great. So what's zeal about? It's uh, one of the most advanced nutritional products on the planet. It's got everything that your body needs to act the way nature intended. And are you offering, are you making special offers here tonight for our people on the street? Uh, we're giving free samples. Ooh, free samples, people. Come on down and check it out. I don't know where Jamal went. Where's Jamal Walker? He was just here. He yeah. went up to the Holbrook to use the restroom. He's coming right oh. back. Darn it, I wanted to get him to sing a song. Oh, here comes Jamal. Jamal, Jamal. Here we go. Okay, 
So this is one of my favorite musicians who is a big fan of Zeal. So Jamal, tell us what Zeal is really all about. Well, you know what Zeal has done for me? I'll tell you my story. Um, I met this guy, Jeremy, here about a year ago at a wedding that I was DJing. And uh, he noticed the swelling in my feet and my ankles and everything, and he asked me if I had ever heard of Zeal. And I said no. So he gave me a spiel and he gave me a little sample. And he's like, hey, take this and, you know, let me know uh, what you think about it. So I woke up the next morning from this campground where I slept in my truck overnight uh, doing this wedding. And I took the Zeal, and within 10 minutes, I was feeling like I had slept a full night's sleep. I was focused. I was back on the road, heading home. Next thing I knew, I was tracking this guy down to get his number through a friend of a friend so that I could get some more zeal to try it out. And I wanted to do a monk supply. I did that, and within two weeks, I noticed, actually within three days, I noticed that my knees weren't hurting as much. And I have severe arthritis on both knees. And I would say on a scale from one to 10, my arthritis was a nine. And I uh, hadn't been able to run, hadn't been able to go up, up and down my stairs without a lot of pain. Within three days, I was out walking my dog and I noticed that my knees didn't hurt as much. Within two weeks, I was running up and down my stairs. I couldn't believe it. I hadn't been able to do that for about eight years. So that was, you know, my first experience with Zeal. And so I fell in love with the product, became a consultant, and the rest is history. Here we are trying to turn on the rest of the public and get a Zeal a nation going here in Grass Valley, Nevada County. So folks, if you want the energy of Jamal Walker and you want to sing like this famous singer, if you want the energy of Jamal Walker and you want to be able to sing like Jamal Walker, come check out the Zeal and get your free sample here tonight at the market. We're open till 9 o'clock. Thank you. Okay, ladies. Hi. So folks, this is Split P. Split P and accessories. And so tell us a little bit about your store. Oh, it's a beautiful store. Can I say where it's located? In yes. the Rayleigh Shopping Center across from Jama Juice. And uh, she carries everything. Maggie Turner. Yes, she's my boss. And uh, just beautiful, beautiful purses, jewelry, wonderful prices. Awesome. Yes. So this is Split P, and they're here at the market. Are you here every week? Um, no, this is our first time out here. Yeah. So welcome Split P to the Thursday Night Market. So check us out on the Thursday Night Market YouTube channel. Thank you. Okay, and now we're going back to Mick at the table. For what? What are we doing? You're saying hi. You're Philip. Now? You're hot. Welcome back to Thursday Night Market. We'll be joined again briefly uh, in a few minutes by Teresa after she's done meeting our neighbors. Uh, welcome back. It's been a great market night again. Um, Hank, Biggs, and the Hardtops are still tearing it up. I can hear them from down here. Uh, and it's been a great night. Lots of people. Come on down. Come on down to the market. You're still time. Get your butt in the car. Get on down here and join us, have some fun. Because I'm using Zeal now and I've got a new Zeal for life. That's awesome. And folks, remember, it's not too late to sponsor the show either. So contact us to see how to do that. There you go. Check out the six shows left. Two spots each show, $75. So we're going to be here every week for the rest of the season. So if you're wandering around downtown market, please come by and say hello and meet us. We love meeting you. So next week's guests, we have Anna Acton and Hallie Alley Ellis of NEO. And for music, we have Dave Rascon on the main stage, Juliet Gobert and Omer Willis on the Mill Street stage. And you know what? Check out the stage at NEO. They've got lots of fun stuff going on. In fact, we're going to see the Lumberjack Pancake Eating Contest next week at the NEO stage. NEO is always a bunch of fun. It's a bunch of fun. I just want to go play with those kids at NEO. They, they just look like they're having a lot of fun. Lots of music, young people really getting their start. It's really fantastic. And I should mention that Anna Acton is of Freed.
in case you didn't know that out there. We, we're having great guests every single week, and you can check out the schedule on Facebook. The um, Thursday Night Market YouTube channel has a Facebook page, which will give you lots of great information. And you can contact us through that page in order to get information about being a sponsor. Please like us. Please like us. <laughs> we'll like you if you like us. All right, and that's going to do it for another Thursday Night Market. We're going to close it out. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Hank Biggs and the Hard Tops are going to close it out for us. See you next week.